Sam Edmund's been frantically busy over the past 20 minutes or so. Uh, and that means there's breaking news. Hello, Sam. Good morning to you, Jared. Yes, I won't suspend you for too long, but I thought this relatively pertinent because Ben King has re-signed at Gold Coast. So we can tell you that King has put pen to paper on a fresh contract at the Suns. And geez, isn't that a massive boost for an expansion club under all sorts of pressure this year? So we know that Ben's signature had been amongst the most sought after in the AFL, but this recommitment is, I would argue, a significant vote of confidence in a club that is once again, as I say, trying to keep another emerging group together. So the details, the specifics of the deal are being tightly held, but we know he's missing 2022 202 centimetre key forward. He's going to sit out the year with the ACL, but geez, at 21, remains one of the game's brightest talents. So that, that's the biggest signature news there was going to be, really, in the first half of the season. So you spoke with Robbie Durazio a, a week ago, a couple six, of weeks ago? Six or seven days ago. Yeah, yep. and he told you what a loyal figure he was. So he really did plant the seed. If you were starting to run the doubts, with listening to Robbie, and now, and it has come to fruition. He described him as a really loyal person um, about six or seven days ago. He said there was an offer from Gold Coast. There has been for some time, speaking to the Suns on that. It hasn't been signed until recently, but Robbie did say he is pretty happy where he sits at the moment. Hopefully he recovers well. Gold Coast have been fantastic for him. So he did kick 47 goals yeah. in his third season, equal seventh in the Coleman medal, uh, Ben King. So you shudder at what he's capable of in the future. 53 games in three seasons. He was picked six in the 2018 National Draft. And the Kings, you know, his twin brother Max, parents, Brooke, Marnie, you know, they're 10 minutes from Moravan. They both wanted to play for the Saints. They idolised Nick Rewalt. They're super tight. Now both of them have had ACLs and Ben's come down to get his surgery. They're together as a family. But They've got such a strong moral compass, the two boys, a real sense of loyalty. So in many ways, it's great news that he's staying up there for mine. Ben that, that competition-wide view is, had he left, the doom saying around Gold Coast is really obvious yep. and it just needs a trigger. Well, this pushes precisely the other way, trying to keep this group together so that they might flourish into whatever it is they're going to be capable of in the in the medium term. Absolutely. I mean, it's more than just a name on a page for mine, this yep. one, for what it represents. And we won't see him on the field, which is a football tragedy, quote unquote, but he'll be back. And if it is a two-year or four-year, whatever it might be, it's such a symbol of keeping the group together because that is the hurdle that they haven't been able to get over Gold Coast. And now they promise to do that, which is exciting. So a big moment for the Suns when they do reveal how long Ben King has committed for, but he has re-signed and he is staying. Good job, Sam. Well Thanks, done. Jared. Cheers.